Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your great support, always. I'm so grateful for your continued support to this channel. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Kenyans, kimeumana hapa. As Gashagwa Allied MPs targeted in House Purge, as Kiharu Member of Parliament, Nini Nyoro, is among 13 lawmakers targeted for ejection from influential committee leadership for, of course, disloyalty to President William Samuel Uto. Ladies and gentlemen, please consider liking the video. When you like the video, you automatically support the work that I'm doing in this channel. Because sometimes you watch the video and you forget liking the video. So this is just a reminder. As you watch, ensure you like the video. Thank you so much for that like. <laughs> now, Kenyans, Kiharu Member of Parliament, Nini Nyoro, is among 13 lawmakers targeted for ejection from the influential committee leadership as we are being told that President William Ruto's Kenya Kwanza Alliance and Raila Odinga's Azimio cracks the whip against this loyalty in the looming shakeup that will firm up their grip on parliament. Remember, when this impeachment started, Nini Nyoro has been so adamant and not active. You know, when it starts to... Uh, of, you do remember when the time of tabling of this impeachment? Nini Nyoro was not there. Among people like Babo Wino, they were not there. On the same note, when this uh, approval of Kindiki Kiture as deputy president nominee was being approved before the National Assembly, Nini Nyoro was also absent. So we are being told that Nini Nyoro is among those 13 lawmakers who are targeted in the National Assembly for not supporting the impeachment of Rigari Gashagwa. The question is, are we living in a country where it is a crime just to keep quiet? You have not engaged on anything that entails the impeachment of Rigari Gashagwa. They have not engaged on any public debate or let me say, they have not argued this, this matter before the public. The question is, what is this that now Ndini Nyoro is going to be removed for? Because Sababu, wanasema, ati amekua disloyal to William Ruto's direction. In other words, this impeachment was having clear directions. The clear direction was, they were ganging up against Gary Gashaw. So anyone who is going not to support that impeachment is going to face the consequence. That is what is happening. Remember Nini Nyoro, alikuwa among those individuals who alikuwa naonekana ikana kwamba, wanezekuwa deputy president. Hata mulikuwa munaona wakati, kuna vita ilinuka thidi ya Rigathi Gashawa and Nini Nyoro. But later, kulikuwa na hiyo reunion in between Ndini Nyoro and Rigari Gashagwa. So hii manene akuvurutana, iliisha, so walikuwa sasa marafiki. Does it mean that, that that is the possibility of Ndini Nyoro not taking part of that such kind of uh, impeachment? Because remember earlier on, Ndini Nyoro was so eloquent and robust. How uh, of course, he was having momentum politically in Kenya Kwanza government as someone who was possibly going to be second in command 2027. But seems like now, keeping quiet and even not going to vote for Kindiki Kiture in the National Assembly, some are feeling like he's among those individuals that should be kicked out. The question is, is it a crime? 
Does it mean that is it, it, it is a crime? To keep quiet. Is it a crime? So I think this government is going to burst in a way that you will not believe. Bigger percentage of leadership will come out saying we are betrayed. And we are not going to be part and parcel of this government. It is just a matter of time, when and where. I know this message might not be clear for some individuals. But the truth is, historically, itapasuka. Itapasuka. Kwa sababu, I know the next one, person, wanaendea, ni wetangula. Hata kama itakuwa this time around, 2027 after election, sidhani kama wetangula atatuloboa. Sidhani kama atatuloboa. Because now, it will be a battle. Atambiwa weka kandu. Utapewa siti zingine. Speaker sisi ndo tunachukua. And that is why you saw the deputy governor of Kakamega, Ayub Savula, coming out to say that we are not going to accept certain members of parliament from a certain region coming out to say they want that position. He was speaking about members of parliament coming from Nyanza. Because kulikuwa na hiyo maneno utinda muro attack over. Nandini nyo, nani, rather, wetangula, walikuwa ntaka akwe chief justice. Izo ndo vitu, nilisikia tufunu, tufunu. Lakini some Kenyan said, eh, wetangula, awezi kuwa chief justice. But you never know, you know, we are living in a country where William Ruto is the, 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 the everything. He says everything. Akiamua ni hivu ni hivu. So perhaps, maybe, that is the plan they are having. But for me, deeply, I can understand what these members of parliament are going to go through. Remember, we are having senators also. Akina, the senate of Kiambu Karungo, they are going to face the, the challenge. Just in this Kenya Kwanza government. Because what they are so kwamba, they are so loyal to regard the Shabu. And so they must be kicked out, either from the party, or from the kind of leadership. That is what is happening. So they are planning to kick out Ndini Nyoro. But again, I know, Ndini Nyoro will leave. Natazidi kufanya watu yake kazi. I know. Because he has been keeping quiet. What is the plan of Ndini Nyoro? What is the plan? I don't know. Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.